Good evening. A new push for change in Perry County as leaders deal with a tight budget. Sheriff Steve Barris has a plan to bring in money by once again housing federal inmates in the jail. He also asked the county board for additional staff. News 3's Maya Skinner spoke to him about why this is key to his department. The Perry County Jail lost federal inmates due to staffing cuts in September. But recently, the U.S. Marshal Service has reached out about the county taking inmates again. They have since contacted me three times wanting to continue to use us um, for their service if I can get staffing levels where it's at. In order to house federal inmates, the jail must have two corrections officers on each shift. Since the staff cuts, Barris only has one overnight officer on duty. This is, this can be a, a profitable relationship with the U.S. Marshal Service if we will just make an initial investment for the right personnel and then we can move forward and it's going to pay for itself. Four officer positions need to be filled with funding from the county. The jail could then house 10 inmates. Barris says this investment could bring in thousands of dollars. There's an element there that if you can get income here and surplant um, what would be regular taxpayers' money, then that money can be shifted to other areas of the county to help us get to where we can be st stable as a county. Barris added that upgrades to the facility are also needed. Roof fixtures and patrol vehicles are a few things on his list. It's countywide right now um, due to some changes with Microsoft and in software, everybody has to go to Windows 10. Um, so when you know, my office has to replace seven computers, well, that's money that we didn't budget for. He hopes the board considers his case and sees the good in the long run for the county. We need to be able to keep the momentum going and, and stay up, but use our money wisely. In Perry County, Maya Skinner, News 3. The county board's next meeting is February 20th at 6 p.m. The sheriff anticipates an agreement with the U.S. Marshals Service April 1st.